All right, so the most potent adaptogen that most people have never heard of is Gynostema T. So what I'm going to do in this video is share with you why exactly I think, feel, and believe that Gynostema is a superior adaptogen to all of the other herbs that are popularly called adaptogens these days, and why it's been something I've been regularly consuming over 15, the better part of 15 years. And I'll also explain what the term adaptogen actually means and how it's not really being used appropriately these days. So basically, I think Gynostema is the best, the most potent adaptogen for a few simple reasons. The first being it has the widest range of saponins of any herb studied. So something like ginseng or ashwagandha or other popular herbs that people consider to be adaptogenic might have something like 20 or 30 saponins, whereas Gynostema has well over 100. So that's cool, that's fine, but why does that actually matter? I think that's actually important because many popular adaptogens like rhodiola or ashwagandha, for example, tend to tweak people out, whereas Gynostema tends to not tweak people out. I've not seen it ever tweak anyone. I've not seen it ever um, cause someone's system to kind of deregulate or become habituated to it. Whereas I've seen so many people take rhodiola, ashwagandha, uh, maca, bunch of other herbs of that caliber. People take it and maybe it works for a little while and then it stops working or it doesn't work really at all and it kind of makes them feel less than positive. Whereas gynostema is unique because it is potent yet gentle. It's strong but mild. If that makes sense. And I know some people are like, well, it's a contradiction of terms. You're an idiot. How you? you don't know what you're talking about. What I mean is that the feeling that you get from it, like let's say you drink it first thing in the morning, it can kind of pick you up a little bit without stressing you, without hitting your adrenals, which is kind of a different sort of energy than most people are accustomed to when they think of just stimulating their nervous system with something like caffeine. And then you can drink it at night and it can kind of help calm you down and regulate your nervous system, but in a way that's not really like a sedative or a depressant or like a vibe of someone would get from like melatonin or um, valerian or other kind of popular sleep aids that people are doing that tend to bring on a bit of grogginess as well. At the same time, you can drink it in the middle of the day and it will help you find equilibrium. You can drink it pre and post workout it will again help you find equilibrium. And in my opinion, my experience, my limited ignorant opinion is that that's actually a better way to go rather than chasing stimulation, rather than ramping your nervous system up and down all the time. Equilibrium is more sustainable. People often ask, how do I have more? How can I have more energy? What stimulants should I take? And my response is learn to be more relaxed, <laughs> learn to actually release stress and tension from your nervous system. And then you'll actually have more energy without even trying. The term adaptogen originally was substances that increase the body's resilience and ability to adapt to and handle stress. Something that can do those things while increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of our organism, both physically in terms of performance and mentally in terms of performance. So that's kind of really what the term means. And I think in terms of adaptogens that actually can go in the body and be regulating those things, regulating these different functions in the body without stimulating or hyperstimulating or depressing, I think gynostema is the best because it seems to always just kind of help us find equilibrium without pushing in any one direction or any one extreme over the other. So if you want to learn more, check out the link below and I'll talk to you soon.